Hello and welcome once again to a talk on affordable living. This is the Cheapskate Channel. Now, I would like to talk to you about something that has been in the news recently and has affected most of the people in American lifestyle. I'm going to talk about the affordable health care plan in the United States and how I have been affected by the affordable health care plan here in the state where I live, which is Georgia. And of course, Georgia is a non-Medicaid subsidy state. They decided not to participate in the Obama health care plan or the affordable health care plan by expanding the Medicaid so that the affordable health care plan can truly be affordable in this state. Once again, this is how this has affected me and the affordable health care. First of all, I would like to give my opinion with these prerequisites. I like and respect President Obama. I voted for President Obama. I have a special affinity toward Obama because he's from Chicago and I have some very dear family members in Chicago and I generally like Obama's philosophy on it. I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a conservative. I am about as middle of the road as you can get and I've really refrained from talking about political issues here on this channel because I don't think that is either the time or the place. I'm here to talk about affordable issues that will help people in their everyday lives. And I thought about this topic for quite a while and thought about how it has affected me and my interactions in trying to apply for the affordable health care plan. And I thought I'd just let you good people know exactly what has happened to me in particular. Now, a lot of people will probably send me emails and criticisms and things of that nature for what I'm probably going to say that might rub them the wrong way. But this is what happened in my particular circumstance, and only mine. There are other people who have this plan that love it, that's helped it, that's helped other people. And I fit in the category of those people with uh, chronic health conditions. I've said on my previous videos that I am a diabetic, and I suffer from high blood pressure and a number of other ailments which would have previously disqualified me from most health insurance plans under the previous uh, regime of health coverage in this country. However, under the affordable health care plan as it is presently being implemented, it has really taken the health care plan out of my reach and possibly the reach of many others that are in my similar situation. Well, first of all, before I get too far along in there, I'm going to discuss what happen, has happened to me because as everyone knows, they now re require everyone to sign up for the Affordable Health Care Plan. So I went on the Affordable Health Care Plan site uh, or the Obamacare Plan site and I looked at the options in the health care marketplace and you put in your criteria and things of that nature for the Affordable Health Care Plan. And uh, I selected a plan which was, I thought, in my budget and, um, and that I could afford. And we went through all the prerequisites and stuff and it gave me the price for it. And on the Affordable Health Care site, by the time I got through with answering all the prerequisite questions and such, uh, I ended up with a plan where they stated I had a 9000 dollar deductible and I'm approximating figure but it was nine thousand something and my monthly premium would then be roughly between four and six hundred dollars a month which was just totally out of my budget my income level is just not that high that's why I'm cheap I've gone on the situation of living a frugal lifestyle because my income does not allow me to live an extravagant lifestyle. At one time, yes I could, but now today is the day and I don't have those type of financial resources and I'm quite sure that lots of people are in my position. 
So I try to minimize my financial footprint on the world and live as frugally and as commonsensically as possible. But getting back to the affordable health care plan, a $9,000 deductible and roughly a four to $600 affordable health care premium uh, is something I can't afford. You know, that would take up much of my monthly income, and I would like to be able to have a place to live. I would like to be able to eat, and I would like to be able to get around uh, to work, and I would also like to be able to uh, pay for my medical situation. I'm fortunate that I was able to take advantage of a health care a program from a regional hospital here because of my income. I'm very grateful to them for that because if it had not been for them there, I would really be in a very, very bad situation here in this state. Once again, I said that Georgia is not participating in the Medicaid expansion, which would have made the affordable health care affordable to people like me and my situation, and I'm quite sure there are a lot of people in many other states that did not participate in the Medicare expansion that feel this way. Uh, this being the case, then we all have to find another way to do this. Thus, this qualifies this for the Cheapskate Channel. Uh, if you can seek out your community or county or area hospital, see what type of programs they have for people with limited or lower income in them and take it sign up and take advantage of them. You know, I had a lot of health care conditions that I needed to have resolved and I didn't have the financial resources to go to private practitioners and do that. And charitable organizations are few and far in between and I, that's a whole nother talk on there about the so-called charitable organizations and their participation in helping people uh, in need as you hear them talk about. But once again, I'll say that's an entirely other talk, which I'll have to give on this channel to assist you in how to get around uh, the charitable institutions, uncharitableness, shall we say. But once again, betting, getting back to the affordable health care thing, you just simply have to find another way if you're in a non-Medicare state. Now, the plan itself in the states that are participating in the Medicare expansion, I hear that it's a wonderful thing. Uh, people are getting the health care that they needed. Uh, one thing I did like about the Obama plan and the implementation of the affordable health care plan is the situation about people with chronic conditions. A lot of people who were uh, forbidden or denied medical care under standard policies now have hope to get them. And this is good for them. Unfortunately, people like myself and other people in non-Medicare expansion plans can't take advantage of this, which the Affordable Health Care Plan affords because we simply don't have the resources to pay that type of bill. And so the only thing I'm saying there is that it needs to be an adjustment or a change in the affordable health care plan so that the states can participate in it or we just simply need to come up with a whole new paradigm altogether. And as an independent myself, I see one side saying one thing, the other side seeing another, and neither side are coming together to solve the problem. And it is a problem. And it's not going to be solved as long as we both remain polarized in this situation. Now, that's enough of my political rant because I know my inbox is going to be filled with a lot of criticisms on both sides because you guys really don't want to know my political views because they can be quite extreme in both directions of liberalism and conservatism. So that's best left to another channel and another arena and for me to call in on the talk shows and fuss there. But... This is just a short talk to tell you about my experiences on the affordable health care plan. I, once again, I, I called them and I had a rep go through the numbers with me and we both got the same figure. They allowed me a waiver on the uh, 
uh, my requirement to participate in the Affordable Health Care Plan because of my income. And they said they would mail it to me. Unfortunately, I have not received the waiver yet. So I'm going to have to contact them again so that I will not incur this hefty fine uh, that they they have been talking about, about non-participation in the Affordable Health Care Plan. If I had the money to afford it, I'd participate because it has a lot of good things in it. Unfortunately, my income prevents me from doing so because I have to live and I need to not only work to pay a health insurance premium because I need to work to live and to live healthily and to seek out other alternative modalities so that I don't have to run to the doctor and I don't have to go and get prescription drugs and I don't have to necessarily go down the path of allopathic or regular medicine as you have probably looked at other videos that I have I've been subscribing to an alternative health care thing because basically it's cheaper for you if you do the alternative health care thing yourself and you can because alternative health modalities are just as expensive as the regular modalities but you have to be creative and you have to use your head so that you can get stuff done without paying both high prices on either the regular doctor way or the alternative practitioner way because both sides will collect money and once again I find myself health conscious wise in a situation where I'm in the middle of the road once again but anyway I hope you have enjoyed this viewpoint from my perspective and I suspect probably many other people's perspective on the alternative health care plan or as many people call it Obamacare in it and hopefully uh, there is a change in it so that people who live in states and jurisdictions and commonwealths and the sort such as me who don't have uh, benefit of the Medicare expansion can find another way to persevere and adapt and get the health care they need so that they can get the relief from the symptoms that they're suffering from. Thank you very much for listening to this talk. I hope I didn't rant too much or ramble on too much, but I thought it was something that needed to be addressed as this is a pressing issue that affects so many people in this country and it's something that has struck home to me because it affects me directly because of my condition and because of my income. But thank you very much and tune in next time for a lot of my other videos and once again if you thought this video helped you in any way please like and share this video and also please spread the love around by copying the URL that's at the top of your webpage video where you see the HTTP colon double forward slash and YouTube Vimeo and all these other sites highlight it copy it and paste it to your YouTube Instagram Facebook and any of the other sites and say you know take a look at this this is important about the universal or affordable health care plan and you need to look at it where the affordable health care plan is not affordable in states where you don't have Medicare expansion thanks a lot for listening and tune in next time on the Chiefs Game Show